Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making rustic Easter decor. I got this napkin from Amazon, this beaded ring from Dollar Tree, this egg hanger also from Dollar Tree, these eggs from Hobby Lobby, some different ribbons and fabric and mesh ribbon, Spanish moss, cottage white and java chalk paint, Mod Podge, and hot glue. I removed the hanger from the egg and painted the front of it with the cottage white chalk paint. And since it was already white, I just did one coat on the front. And I always like my projects completely finished, so I did paint the back as well, but you can skip that part. And then after that was dry, I took my napkin and cut one of the prints off of it. So just one of the little squares, remove the extra layers from that. And then I took some water on a paintbrush and just went along the image to cut just a little bit of the napkin from it. This way it doesn't look so straight across when you put it on the egg, it blends in a little bit better. And then I placed the napkin on the egg form just to see where I wanted it to go. And then put some Mod Podge underneath where it started and ended. And then spread that Mod Podge where the napkin was going to be. Just did a nice thin layer. And then used my heating tool to dry that completely. I like to dry it before I iron on the image when I use napkins. If it was still wet, I would probably tear it if I tried to adjust the image. So once it was dry, I placed the napkin down where I wanted it, and then I took parchment paper and used my travel iron and just ironed that image on, reactivating the Mod Podge and sealing down that image. And then once that was on there, I just gave it a quick sanding around the napkin just to get off any of the loose pieces of the napkin that didn't dry fully. So I wanted a more rustic look, so I took Java chalk paint and just put a little bit on the paintbrush and just dry brushed it all around the image. You can definitely skip this step and just Mod Podge right over the entire thing if you don't want the rustic look. Next, I took Mod Podge again and spread it all over the front of the entire image and the whole egg. Just making sure that it was a nice smooth coat and then again used my heating tool to dry that layer. And then after the Mod Podge was dry, I decided to just add a little bit more distressing to it. And once that was done, I took the beaded form from Dollar Tree and just kind of bent it into the shape of the egg and it really fits perfectly. So once I had it in the shape I wanted it, I just hot glued it in little sections. I did the top first making sure that was completely dry. And then I didn't end up doing the entire thing completely, just a few sections to make sure it was on there nice and good. Next, I took Spanish moss and placed it at the bottom of the image and just hot glued that into place. And 
And then after that was on there, I took the eggs I got from Hobby Lobby and hot glued them right on top of the moss. Next, I took some twine and just placed it in the original opening at the top of the egg and made a little hanger. And then I'm gonna make a messy bow. I love these messy bows, I make them all the time. I just take different styles of ribbon and fabric, pinch them in the center of the fabric, crisscross them in an X in my hand, keeping them nice and tight as I fill it in just layering different patterns and fabrics. And some of this mesh ribbon I get from Dollar Tree, it's so cute. And then once I have it all filled in, I just take some twine and wrap it around the center where I was holding it and pull it nice and tight fluff out the ribbons, and then trim up any pieces that are too long. And then the last thing I do is just hot glue the messy bow right to the top. And that is it. I think it turned out really adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching.